G'day. Here's another puzzle for you to try for yourself and to try with your friends. I'm going to draw it up in five stages and then ask you the question. It's good for you to see this done. So the first one's just a square with a shaded circle inside. Here's a, a square which is shaded with a blank circle, triangle, dotted line, and this. Okay. The question is this. Which one of these five shapes is most different? Or you could ask which one is the odd one out? Now they're all different and that's what makes this difficult. I'd like you to pause now and to try to work it out for yourself and when you've had a good think about it, run the video again and see my answer. Well, here we are. The way to reveal the answer to this is to ask simple questions. So I don't just point it out. A lot of people go for this because it's a triangle. A lot of people say, well, this is the only one with a dotted line, etc., etc. But let's ask a question. What is different about that or unusual about it? And the answer is the circle is shaded. What is different about this? And I think you agree that the square is shaded. What is different about this? It has a triangle. What is different about this? We have a dotted line. What is different about this? And the answer is there's nothing actually wrong with it. In the sense that this is the basic pattern that all the others derive from. One way of looking at it is to say that each one of these is only one step different from that one. We've only got to make one change. Here, for example, we shaded the circle, we shaded the square, we altered the outside shape to a triangle, or we made the inside circle a dotted circle. If I start with any of the others, I actually have to make two steps, two changes to get here. Here I have to make the circle solid and change the outside to a triangle. Of course, it's only one step back to this one. But this is the basic pattern that all the others are derived from. Now, interestingly, I have observed over the years and I've discussed with people, people who are very analytical tend to have difficulty with this. I know I did. Very analytical people look for the unusual things very synthetic people, or people who think holistically, tend to look for what's uniform or common, and they find it more easily. Um, I'm curious to see what your comments are. I just simply don't know more than that. But try it out on your friends. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to posting some more puzzles for you in the near future. Thank you for watching.